Raghavan. I am Sai Rati of Neet Junior from Sunrise Educational Hub, Adilabad. I am going to teach or explain the topic of cell theory. Let us first know what a cell is. Cell is a fundamental structural and functional unit of life. All the living organisms are composed of cells and products of cells. Anton von Dunhoek was the first person to see and describe a living cell. Robert Hooke saw a dead cell first. The person to see a live cell first was Anton von Dunhoek. And the person who saw a dead cell first is Robert Hooke. Now let us come to my topic which is cell theory. In the year 1838, Matthias Kleden, a German botanist, examined different kinds of plants and concluded that plant cells were the plants were composed of different kinds of cells. At about the same time, Mr. Theodore Squam, in the year 1839, a British zoologist, a British zoologist studied different kinds of animal cells and concluded that they had a thin outer layer which is today known as plasma membrane. He also concluded that the presence of cell wall is a unique characteristic of plant. So I proposed a hypothesis which is all, all living organisms are composed of cells and products of cells. Uh, they had a drawback, Matthias Lede and Theodore Swan had a drawback which is they were not able to explain how new cells arise. Then here comes Rudolf Virgo in the year 1855 he gave a statement omnicellula acellula. It means that new, new cells arise from pre-existing cells. Features of cell theory which are known today are all living organisms are composed of cells and products of cells. And the second one which was given by Rodolfo Virgo is new cells arise from the pre-existing cells. Thank you for watching my video.